can't believe we're really inside Spring City Film Studios, Wendy. I know. And to be working on the next Space Robots movie, I'm so excited. Take that, you big bad space robot. When I was in plays at school, I used to dream of being a movie star. Well, we're here to build, not act, Leo. Look, here comes the director. He's a bit on the small side. No, that's D11D, one of the space robots. Hi there. That's the director. Carl Parker, director. Are you guys here to work on the space robot set? Yes, and we're building the rocket, too. We can't wait to get started. Oh, there, D11D. I love working with robots. Oh. 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 Sorry, but they can be hard to control sometimes. This one's definitely out of control. I don't like it. <gasps> sorry, sorry, it's not me. It's the, uh, the controls. Just getting used to them, you know. <laughs> anyway, Space Robots 3 has got to be ready for a summer opening, which means we must start filming by the end of the day. We should be able to get the set ready for filming in no time. Right, team? Right, right Bob. Bob. Sure, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Zappy, what you doing? I just had to come when I heard they were filming Space Robot 3 here. I was hoping I might even meet D11D. I can even talk like him. Beep, ba ba beep. He's my favorite. <laughs> well, I don't think he's monks. <laughs> There's D11D. Or D1, as I like to call him. I think the director wants me in the movie. No way! That's right, no way. Leo's only building sets, same as the rest of us. Speaking of which, Bob asked me to come and get you, too. Building the sets? That's still pretty great. Lofty's got his cables crossed, Saffy. I'm gonna be in the movie for sure. In fact, I better go learn my lines. See ya. Beep, ba, ba, beep. Leo, have you really got a part in the film? Well, I definitely will have once Carl spots my acting skills. Leo, there's the director. Now's your chance to get spotted. Thanks, Scoop. D11D, watch out! There's a big bad space robot behind you. Ooh, the lens cap was on. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't see anything. <laughs> oh, hello! This set is looking great, by the way. Keep up the good work. Mm. Now, for the moon's surface, we have two different types of sand to choose from. There's this sand, which is pretty dark, or there's this, which is much lighter. Personally, I prefer the first. Me too. Good call, Wendy. Let's go with the darker sand. <sighs> Marvelous! Fantastic! I've just had a thought, though. Could it have a door? A door that opens so that space robots can appear out of it. Oh, that would be fabulous, if it's possible. Not a problem, Carl. If you can imagine it, I can build it. I quit, Scoop. I'm obviously not meant to be an actor. What? I think you're brilliant, Leo. Hey, look, that's Safi. Good luck in the how am I ever going to tell her I'm not in it? Do you want me to tell her, Leo? Beep, ba, ba, beep! Let's not tell her yet, Scoop. Remember, anything can happen in the movies. <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> Excuse me! Muck coming through, carrying a big Betty robot! I'm 
Wendy. Have you seen Leo? Um, not for a while, Scoop. Oh. Around here, Carl. Is this where you want the big robot? That's perfect, Bob. Okay, Lofty. He's heavy, so lift gently. <laughs> then bring him towards me. And stop. And slowly bring him down. Down. Yes, just here. Excellent work, Lofty. Ooh, how exciting! Hi, you two. You haven't seen Leo, have you? Yeah, loads of times. He means this morning, Muck. Oh. No. Me neither, Scoop. Okay, everyone, we're about to start making Space Robot 3. Everybody ready? Great. Here we go. What's he doing? He's acting! Acting silly, I'd say. He shouldn't be up there. It's dangerous. Oh, careful of my rocket! Listen, Leo. That rocket hasn't been built to hold a person your size. It's for little robots only. We're gonna get you down, but don't move a muscle, okay? Bob, I'm in the movies. I've got to move. Leo! D11D! Are you all right? I'm okay, I think. Are you sure you're not hurt? I'm fine, but look what I did to the rocket. <laughs> Looks like that's the end of D11D. Hooray! Oh, uh, sorry. And the end of my film. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Better? I'm okay, except I'll never see Space Robots 3, and neither will anyone else. Unless we can think of a way to fix D11D. Ah, uh, we build an all new D11D. D12D. I'm afraid a new robot would take months to build rather than hours. What about if we clean up D11D, put him on wheels, and move him around with ropes? Except the audience will see the ropes, and <laughs> that's not a good look for a space robot. Oh. Oh, poor Safi. Now she's never going to meet her robot hero. Hey, wait a minute. Safi can do the D11D noises perfectly. And she's about the same size. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Leo? I think so, Bob. Wendy, can you get the rocket back up in the setting shape if Leo and I sort out the D11D problem? With the help of these guys, I can. In that case, there's only one thing to say. Action! Here we go. And action. Cut. Fantastic. What a great scene. Okay, everyone. Let's have lunch now. Thanks for saving the day, Safi. Safi? Safi, are you okay in there? Oh, so now you're a big star. You're not gonna talk to me? Of course I will, Leo. Come over and have a sandwich. <laughs> Remember, Leo, 
Anything can happen in the movies. Okay, Leo. Oh, Bob, it looks fantastic. Glad you're happy, Jenny. My Komodos will love their new island. We finished the entrance that slopes up, so now we have to complete the slope down to the exit. Once that's finished, we just need to get the bridge over the island in place. Then you can open it to the public. So there's no reason why we can't release the Komodos now? Before the walkway's finished? Yes. They need some time to get used to their new home. I suppose not, then. Perfect. I'll get the cages moved onto the island right away. Thanks, Leo. You can switch the water off now. Okay. Come on out, my lovely Komodo dragons, and see your new home. Dragons? Won't they be able to fly off the island, Bob? <laughs> They're not the fire-breathing kind you read about in stories, Muck, and they don't have wings. Phew! Why are they called dragons, then? The people who discovered them over a hundred years ago thought they looked like dragons. But if they're not real dragons, what are they? Just big lizards, really. But they can give you a nasty bite if you're not careful. Look, there's one. Oh, oh. It's come to say hello. Oh, oh. What's the matter, Mook? Uh, uh, I feel all shivery and strange. How long have you been feeling like that? Just since I saw the dragon! Oh, Muck, you're just scared. You're completely safe, Muck. The safety glass stops it from leaving the island. Oh, I don't even want to look at it, Wendy. It's so slimy and hissy. Actually, Komodo dragons aren't slimy at all. Their skins are quite dry. I don't think this is the time, Bob. Muck? Will you be able to help finish off the walkway now the Komodos are on the island? I'm sorry. I don't think I will. Don't worry, Muck. We can do that, and I'll find you something else. Great. That's the last Komodo moving in. Is Muck asleep? We've just discovered he's really scared of the Komodos. Is there anywhere else in the zoo that he could help out today? Well, the enclosure over there needs clearing out. I could do that. Great idea. Muck, come on, let's get you away from the island. Should I tell Muck it's the old Komodo enclosure he'll be clearing? Is it completely empty? Oh, yes. Then I'm sure he'll be fine with that. Leo, Lofty, Scoop, let's get this walkway finished. Sure thing. Yes, Bob. Will do. Eggs? What are they doing here? There's at least three! And another three! And another! So that's, um... Loads! I wonder where the mommy bird is. I can't see her anywhere. I have to find her so she can look after her eggs. They might be ready to hatch, and the baby chicks would have no one to look after them. Oh, I really need to ask Jenny what to do. <gasps> but I bet she's over by the Komodo Island. Oh, it's no good. I'll just have to go to the island. I need to make sure these eggs are safe. <sighs> Don't worry, little chickies. Uncle Muck will look after you. <gasps> ah! oh, dragon! Whoa! 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 Uh, Bob, Wendy, help! I'm stuck! Huh? Uh... <gasps> Leo, be careful! I've got to help him! 
What's going on? Bob, there's a dragon climbing that tree! It's gonna fight Leo! <gasps> Leo, don't worry. We're gonna get you down. Just stay really still. <sighs> okay, I'll try. Bob, I think I can reach Leo. See if you can step into Mook's bucket, Leo. I can do it. Uh, Don't worry, Leo. I've got you. Well done. That's perfect. Now, Muck will bring you down as gently as he can, Leo. Good perfect, job, Muck. Muck. What's happened? Just a little accident, Scoop. Thank you, Muck. You're my hero. I'm not a hero, Leo. It's all my fault you got stuck up there in the first place. Why? What happened? Well, first I came over to find Jenny, and then that dragon hissed at me, and then I got scared, and then I backed into the walkway, and uh, now it's all ruined. We can fix it, Muck. The important thing is that you saved Leo. You were more worried about me than yourself, Muck. That really is brave. What did Muck save Leo from? Him. Him is a her, actually. Oh, she's just sunbathing a little after her lunch. You mean she wasn't going to climb that tree and bite me? No. <laughs> Young Komodos can climb all the way up trees, but the adults grow too big. Oh. <laughs> I saved Leo, but he didn't even need saving. <laughs> You've made me think, though, Muck. I don't want anyone visiting the zoo to be worried like you and Leo were. Maybe I need to redesign the walkway. There's plenty of safety glass left over. We could cover the sides of the walkway and bridge. You're a genius, Bob. I'll leave you to it. Oh, Jenny, I nearly forgot. I found some eggs in that other enclosure, but I couldn't see the mommy birds, so you need to look after them. What eggs? They don't look like any eggs I've ever seen before. What kind of birds bury their eggs in soil, Jenny? These are Komodo dragon eggs, Muck. They must have been laid several months ago without me knowing. <gasps> Hang on a minute. You mean... I mean... Then they're not... Komodo dragons are reptiles, Muck. And reptiles lay eggs just like birds. Oh. I need to transfer them to a nesting site right away. They look like they're ready to hatch. So I was carrying Komodo eggs around all that time? Looks like it, Muck. Well, if I can do that, I reckon I can go back to work at Komodo Island. Can I fix it, Bob? <laughs> yes, you can. your old friend, Leo. She looks a lot friendlier from up here. It's wonderful, Bob. Thank you all so much. Especially you, Muck. I can't believe how brave you've been. Saving Leo and helping to get everything finished on time despite being so scared of the Komodos. Oh, it was nothing. And now, I've got something very special to show you. Come on! Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> I thought you didn't like Komodos, Muck. I think they're okay now that I'm done being scared. Good for you, Muck. And as you're the one who found and saved the eggs, I've decided to name him after you, Muck. Oh, after me? Thank you. It's an honor to have a Komodo named after me. Yes, Muck, it really is. And I'll call the next baby boy Bob. Bob the Komodo Dragon. 
I think that's got quite a nice ring to it. Scoop's a nice name too, you know. Are all these games gonna go inside the shopping mall, Bob? No, Mark. Roland wants us to set them up outside for children to play on. Oh, here he is now. Bob, hi! Wendy, Leo. I've been planning my first game shop for so long, and today it's finally gonna open. We've had lots of fun getting everything ready. I can't tell you how excited I am. This is how the snakes and ladders board will look, Roland. I always loved playing that as a child. But mine has real ladders to go up and snake shoots to slide down. I think the doll's house is fun. <sighs> and it's big enough for the children to actually walk inside. These will look amazing. Now, where's my favorite, the giant piano? Hmm. Oh, is there a piano too? Yes, Scoop. It's right there on Two-Ton. It has keys like a normal piano, Scoop, but mine is electronic and sits on the ground. Like a synthesizer. Yeah, Leo. You obviously know your musical instruments. <laughs> well, I do love music. Uh... What's a synthesis advisor? It's an electronic keyboard, Muck. But how do you play a giant keyboard with your hands, Roland? Do you need a real-life giant? That's the really fun part, Scoop. You don't play it with your hands, you play it with your feet. Oh, I was hoping to meet a giant. Do you really play it with your feet? Yep. And I've got a very special mystery guest coming to show everyone how at the opening later. Cool. I'm glad you think so. Because with all your musical talent, I think you should be the one to put the keyboard together. Seriously? I'm always serious about having fun, Leo. That's a great idea, Roland. But if it's such an important job, Leo probably needs a helper. Can I be the helper, Bob? <laughs> yes, Scoop. Thank you for volunteering. But I don't need any help, Bob. I'm sure you don't, Leo. But here's a diagram showing the keyboard layout anyway, just in case you get stuck. Can I say I know lots about music? Hmm. Why does the diagram have numbers 1 to 40 on it, Roland? Uh... Because that's the number of keys on the piano? Absolutely right, Leo. There are 40 keys, and each key is a different note or sound, Scoop. I knew you were the man for the job, but now I better check how things are going inside my game shop. Great. So, Leo and Scoop will be putting the keyboard together, and I'm going to need the rest of the team to build the other games. Will do. So, you're both sure you know how to assemble the keyboard. We've got the diagram if we get stuck. It looks just like a giant jigsaw, Bob. And I'm awesome at jigsaws. Glad to hear it. Give me a shout if you need any help. OK. Let's see what we've got to build this keyboard with. That must be the base of the keyboard. Yep. And those are the keys. Why are some white and some black? I thought you knew tons about music. I do, but not everything. The white keys and the black ones sound different from each other. Oh, you do know your stuff. Bring them all over to the base then, please, Scoop. Okie dokie. Hmm. What are all those numbers for? Oh, yes. They're supposed to be 40 keys, so that's just to check we've got the right amount. Um... Hey, they're all mixed up now. I'm going to need that diagram. Um, where is it? Oh, it's over there somewhere, but we don't need that. It's easy. We can tell which key we need by the shape on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. These two are the same shape. So we can put them in wherever they fit. It's like a jigsaw, just like I said. Good thinking, Scoop. Are you two ready to start? Sure thing, Bob. Can we build this? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Oh, it looks perfect. Eh? Hey. And it sounds just terrible. Uh. 
Oh, Leo. What happened, Leo? Well, Scoop mixed the keys up when he moved them. Huh? I told you I needed that diagram. You said you knew all about music, Leo. You shouldn't pretend to know something when you don't. Well, at least I know the difference between the black keys and the white ones. <gasps> OK, OK, you two. Time out. Mm. <sighs> Will I have to cancel my special guest, Bob? No, no, you won't have to do that. Leave it with us, Roland. Are you sure? We're certain. <sighs> now, without blaming each other, what really happened? I got a bit carried away when Roland asked me to put the keyboard together. I thought I knew more about music than I do. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, Bob. But you had the diagram to follow. The keyboard looked like a big jigsaw, so I didn't think we needed it. I'm really sorry, too. Didn't you know that some keys look the same but sound different? We do now. And every key has a special position it needs to be in to play its note properly. Can you find the diagram, Scoop? Yes, Bob. Look, all the keys are numbered underneath. I found it. Good work, Scoop. So all we have to do is follow the diagram. Oh, Bob, we can do this. We really can. But first, we have to tell Roland we're going to put it right. We're so sorry, Mr. Sweet. We should have followed your diagram. We'll do it properly this time. So I don't need to cancel my special guest? No. Are you going to tell us who it is? Not yet. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But he'll be here in no time. So, can you fix my keyboard, please? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Wonderful, Bob! Thank you all! <laughs> Leo? Yeah! <laughs> hey! The Spring City Rockets are here! <laughs> yeah. oh, wow! This is the coolest thing ever! Couleur than moi? Huh? Impossible! C'est moi. Yes, I am, little lady. That's my favorite dance show ever! Meet my mystery guest, everyone. I needed someone who was good with their feet, as well as musical. And it so happens, I am not just a dancer extraordinaire, but a very accomplished pianist, too. Please show us, Mr. D'Souza. Perfect. Do you want to try out the other games before the grand opening? Ah, oh, yes, please. I'm going in the doll's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I join in? When I point, hit high C, okay? You know which note that is, right? Yes. <gasps> Do 
Sorry. That wasn't high C, was it, Wendy? Uh, no. Definitely not. I think maybe I'll take a turn on the snakes and ladders instead. Now, everyone, today we are building Curtis a new car wash. Excuse me, roller coming through. <sighs> oh, what? Sorry, Rolly. <laughs> As I was saying, the car drives in here. The mainframe moves over the car. The brushes spin around to give it a wash, and then... Beep, beep. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> Sorry, I missed a spot. Then the clean car will exit the car wash here and drive off. Oh, it sounds like great fun. May I have a turn of the car wash? I don't think so, Muck. You're much too big for it. That's right, Lofty. The car wash is just for cars and vans. Sorry, I've got to roll behind you. Ready for more tarmac rolling? Yes, please, Muck. Okay. Finished! Hooray! Mm, no, no, I missed a spot. Hmm. Roly really likes to do his jobs perfectly, doesn't he? Sometimes he likes to do them a bit too perfectly. Bob, I thought my car wash would be up and running by now. Sorry, Curtis. Roly's still rolling. It's just that my electric power and water supply are both off. I can't even surf petrol. Okay, everyone. It's done. The tarmac is flat. Yay! Okay. Now, we're behind schedule, so we'll need to make up time. Wendy, Leo, and Lofty, our first job is to assemble the mainframe and lower it onto these runners. Okay. Yes, Leo, you're in charge of connecting the car wash to the water supply. You got it, Bob. Wendy, we'll need the control console fitted here. I'm on it. Bob, should I roll the tarmac one more time? Uh, thank you, Rolly, but no. We've got to get going, so can we... Oh, now what? Hi, Philip. Good morning, Curtis. Curtis, aren't you open yet? I'm afraid we're a bit behind, Mia Madison. Uh, but Philip is scheduled to be the first car to drive through the car wash. Isn't that right, Philip? I do believe that I have that privilege. See? It's in the diary. We won't be too long. Can you come back later? Come back later? But that would make us late for the beekeepers' conference. And if we're late for the beekeepers' conference, we'll be late for the big truck driver's lunch. And if we're late for the big truck driver's lunch... We'll come back shortly. Drive on, Philip. Yes, Mom. At last, one automatic car wash coming up. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Now that's what I call a proper car wash. Can I open my garage now? We just have to test it, Curtis. The green triangle is for go, the red square is for stop, and the blue circle is for set. That's so you can reset the car wash back to the beginning, isn't it, Wendy? You're right, Lofty, it is. You can also set it to do a test run, which is what I'm doing now. Curtis, would you start it for us? I'd be honored to, Bob. How exciting! Here's the first rinse. Oh, that's brilliant! All working well. The brushes are turning nicely on their axles. Mainframe running smoothly. Foam. It 
It's like shampoo for cars. And here's the final rinse. Yeah! Fantastic! Thanks, everyone. Now I just need to switch my new gas pumps on and I can open for business. Everybody, wait! I think I should roll the tarmac out some more. <laughs> Why, Rolly? I might have missed a spot. And there might be bits of tarmac swishing around the car wash. Oh, dear. We wouldn't want that. They might get up inside the mainframe, and that would break it. Break the car wash? All right, all right. Tell you what, Rolly, why doesn't Leo do another test run just for you? Then you can watch everything closely, and if there's any loose tarmac, you can roll it out later. Thanks, Bob. Leo? You got it, Bob. Too close, Mark. Okay, green is for go. Uh-oh, I can see some loose tarmac. Where? There, little bits of tarmac next to the drain. I'll just roll them flat. No, Rolly, not while it's running. I won't be a moment. Rolly, come back. Whoa! I better reverse! <gasps> Rolly, watch out! Stop! Oh, oh no. no! Go forward, Rolly! Forward! No! Oh. Back, Rolly! Back! Yeah. Oh. 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 Ow! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Yep. Did somebody do something? Oh, no! Don't worry, Rolly. We'll soon have you out of there. Oh, no. How did this happen? I it's my fault. I didn't listen. Leo said not to enter when it was running, but I was too busy rolling, and I didn't think. Now I've ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Is there anything we can do, Bob? Of course there is. Let's get Rolly out of that mainframe first. I can back out, Bob. Slowly, Rolly, slowly. Let's have a look. The brushes have popped out, but that's what they're designed to do. No real damage to the mainframe, but we're going to need another console. I think Two-Ton left us some spares. I'll take a look. Good. And we've got to do something about that water. I'll stop it! Well, that's one way of doing it. Thank you, Rolly. Okay, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! That looks a lot better. But will it work? As long as the mainframe resets itself, we're back in business. Hooray! As good as new. Now, let's get your new gas pumps working, Curtis. We're in a hurry, Curtis. We'll drive straight through, if that's all right. How exciting! We're your very first customers. <gasps> but they haven't closed their windows. Mayor Madison, your windows! Yes, they're electric. Oh, that's bit. not supposed to happen. Uh oh, press the blue button. That'll reset it, Wendy. Oh. No. Oh. 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 No. Oh, 
<laughs> well, looking on the bright side, at least Philip is clean. Sparkling, thank you, sir. Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Oh. <laughs> Bob, should I roll the tarmac one more time? No! no. I'm really excited about this project, Sky. Super excited, Bob! <laughs> yes, I guess. Sky wants us to build a hundred yard zip line all the way down this slope. I need it finished as soon as possible, though. It's part of my new outdoor fitness program, which starts this evening. Team Bob won't let you down, Sky. Super! And when it's done, you guys can be the first down the line. <laughs> Perfect! Need to fly. I've got running, swimming and gymnastics all before lunch. <laughs> what will the zip line look like, Bob? We'll build a platform up here and run the cable down to the bottom of the slope, where we'll build a brake with crash mats and a net for a soft landing. You all right, Leo? Yeah, fine. Really, thanks, Lofty. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! So, Scoop, we're going to build a break for the zip line. I need you to drill holes diagonally into the ground so the poles can go in like this. No problem, Bob. Oh, only one bolt left. We used a lot to fix the platform. There, done. Wendy, it's Bob. Hi, Bob. We're going to need more bolts down here. I'll bring some down. Thanks, Wendy. Leo, can you take charge and finish the platform for me? Okay. Thanks. Mm. What's next? Well, I think we need to place this extra thick post. It's the important one for the zip line. <sighs> Come on, Leo. Move it left a bit. <sighs> now right a bit. <sighs> And down we go! <laughs> it's a job well done. You're very quiet, Leo. What's up? I'm just not sure I'm very good at being a builder, Lofty. I can't even guide a simple post into a hole without help. Don't be silly. You're the best apprentice ever! <sighs> I guess. I'm heading down to Bob, so I'll take the cable with me. Coming, Dizzy. <gasps> oh, yes! Are you sure everything's okay, Leo? You don't seem like yourself today. No, no, I'm fine, thanks. Really. Hmm. I want to pour more sloppy concrete. Thanks, Wendy. Dizzy? Bob, do you think Leo's okay? He seems a bit down. Really? Hmm. I wonder what's bothering him. I don't think Leo wants to be a builder anymore. What? That's what he told Lofty. Ah! Building is the best thing you can do. Bob, if I'm finished here, I'll go and help Leo and Lofty. Okay, Scoop. <laughs> Hey, Lofty. Dizzy says there's something up with Leo. Yeah. He's been acting a bit weird. <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't believe it. What did I do wrong this time? <sighs> What's happened to the line? I'm sure Leo fixed it to the platform. I'll go and see how he's doing. I didn't use enough bolts. 
That could have been really dangerous. I'm really not cut out to be a builder. Leo? Where are you going? I think I should give up, Lofty. Building isn't for me. Oh, oh no! Leo's going to leave the team. We have to make things right, Scoop. Leo, you take a break. Juice, trail mix, whatever. We'll sort this out in no time. <sighs> Got it. It'll be all right, Leo. You'll see. Don't leave us. Nothing. Uh -oh. the concrete's not set. Oh, no. I've made things a hundred times worse. Oh, I know. I know. Never fear. Scoop will save the day. I'll just push it up right again. Sneak this. That's it, Scoop. Keep going. Keep going. Too far. Too far. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. That is not good. Uh, what's going on? Well, um... Sorry, Bob. What happened to the platform? We were just trying to fix things because Leo wants to leave the team. Leo wants to what? Where is he? Leo? Are you okay? What's up? I'm sorry, Bob. My mind isn't on the job. Is it true you want to leave? No, but I took my college test yesterday. I studied really hard, but I think I failed. I'm no good as a builder. And now because of me, Sky's zipline is wrecked. Tests aren't everything, Leo. You need to study and practice to be a good builder. And you didn't ruin the zipline. No, that was us. We panicked. Hmm. The posts have split, so we can't rebuild it as it was. But maybe we can work something out together. Well, Sky, there's been a tiny setback, but, uh... <gasps> We're thinking of making the zip line longer and more thrilling. Thrilling? How? We could attach the line to this tree. It looks strong enough, and we can get it checked for safety. That sounds fantastic! But we don't want to hurt the tree, so we could use... Um, strong cables wrapped around it instead of drilling bolts into it. But how will people get up there? With a staircase made of logs. This sounds very rustic and outdoorsy. I love it! my college tutor. I must have done really badly on my test for her to call me. Answer it, Leo. I need to know. I need to know now. Uh, hello? Leo here. Really? Really? Wow. Thank you. Yes, I will. Thanks. Bye. I passed with high grades. Awesome! That's super! Well done, Leo! You know, Leo, Bob had to take that test three times before he passed. And look how good he is now! Well done, Leo! It takes study, practice and imagination to be a brilliant builder. So you won't be leaving the team after all, will you, Leo? No, I guess not, Lofty. You're stuck with me for good. OK, guys, a promise is a promise. You get first try on the zip line! Well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <sighs> Go on! You can do it! Yeah, it'll be like whiz, whoosh! 
You know? Fun! Whoa! Never fear! And never give up! Whoa! So this is the finished splash zone. Oh! <laughs> you missed me. Okay, now, you've all done an excellent job building Spring City Splash, but we still have one thing left, the Double Dragon Water Slide. Double means two of something, so there are two dragon water slides. Guests will climb a ladder up to the dragon's tail then slide down the dragon's body and shoot out through its mouth into the splash pool. Dragons are the best. Hi, guys! <laughs> Don't mind us. I'm just showing JJ around the water park. It's my birthday, and I'm having a party here tomorrow morning! <laughs> so we better go. There's still a lot to organize. Did you hear that? We have to finish by tomorrow morning. Let's get to work. Yay! Yay! I cannot wait to see the slides. I love dragons. Let's see who's doing what job. Scoop to build the dragon slides. No, sorry, Scoop. I need you to help build the support beams for the slides. Oh, but... You can see the slides once you've finished your job. Okay. I love dragons. I love their pointy tails. I love that they breathe fire. Ah, oh, Scoop, you're here. We need to make a trench for the slide support beams to stand in. Can you start by digging a hole over here, please? Uh-huh. I love dragon scaly skin. I love the horns on their heads. Is this deep enough, Wendy? Mm, no, not quite. See how this marker sticks out of the hole? Yeah. We need the hole to be deep enough so that the marker fits in completely. Got it! Perfect. Now, Scoop, you have to dig the trench as deep as this hole. Otherwise, the support beams won't stand up straight. I'll send Leo to help you. I've got to meet Tutum when he arrives with the slide sections. Hmm. Nope. Still not deep enough. Better keep digging. He's here with the dragon slides. I can't see anything from here. I have to see those dragons. Hey, Scoop, stop. There they are. Wendy sent us to help finish the support beams. Scoop, you coming? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> Bob, the picture shows that the sign is in the middle of the roof. So you need to move it this way. Okay, moving it. Wow, this is heavy. A little bit more, Bob. A bit more. Just a bit more. Oh, wait. I think you went too far. Hmm. Okay, before we start, I have to check that the trench is deep enough. Hmm, the marker's sticking out. I'm not sure the support beams will stand up in this. Let me check the plans again. Hmm. Oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we just start? 
Lofty, you lower in the beams and I'll hold them in place. I don't know. We really should wait for Leo to check if it's okay. What if the trench isn't deep enough? Oh, I'm sure it is. I was digging for ages and ages. Well... Oh, come um... on. I really want to see the dragon slides. Uh, okay. If you're sure. <sighs> okay. It's in place. And straight. Dizzy, pour the concrete. You got it! Perfect! I'm going to test the lights. Can you watch and make sure they're working? Yep, I'll be the best watcher ever, ever, ever! Great! Hello, JJ. How are the party plans going? Okay, Muck, get ready. So, Muck, did the lights work? Oh, uh, sorry, Bob. Right. Right, okay. I've got it, I think. Let's get started. <gasps> Finished! And now I'm off to see the dragons. Huh? But the trench! Was it deep enough? Scoop said it was. He dug for ages. Oh, right. I must have misunderstood the plans. They were confusing. Okay, let's build this tower. I love dragons. I cannot wait to see the slides. Oh. Whoa. Hey, Scoop. Since you love dragons so much, why don't you go in front and make sure that there's nothing in two tons way for the last few yards? Really? Can I? Oh, that's so cool. Thanks, Wendy. Ready, two ton? Ready, Scoop. Okay, now the slide sections are here. I need Lofty to lower them onto the beams. Then Leo and I will secure them in place. Got it? Got it. Yes, Bob. Okay, Lofty, let's start with the dragon heads. Righto. That's great, Lofty. There. All done. Thanks, Lofty. This is amazing! Super exciting! Told you dragons are the best! Dragon bodies in place! Only the tails left to do! Huh? <gasps> Bob, Lofty, wait! The beams are going to collapse! Huh? <gasps> Lofty, move away slowly! Quick, Bob! The tail's going to fall! Oh. Leo, get down, quick! Uh-oh. <sighs> what happened? I'm sorry. I got confused with the plans and didn't check the support beams. They can't have been set deep enough in the concrete. No, it's all my fault. I don't think I dug the trench deep enough. Scoop, I know support beams don't sound as exciting as dragons, but... They are just as important. I know that now. I, I didn't do my job properly. I'm really sorry. But what are we going to do? It's JJ's pool party tomorrow! I would work all night to fix this. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Scoop. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
your birthday. Watch me go! Dragon slides are the best! I love their ladder tails and their twisty bodies and, <laughs> and the way rockets shoot out of their mouths! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm soaked! <laughs>